Gear 65, the Sony Vio X episode. This is part two. If you missed part one, you gotta check out part one where we show you all the hardware and how thin this machine actually is. So go click on this button if you missed it. If not, welcome back to the show. Yeah, so which is really cool. Um, we really are uh, quite impressed with that. So let's finally take a look at the keyboard because we've said all the good things. We need to leave uh, some bad things at the end. Um, let's take a look at the keyboard. This is a Chiclet keyboard, all right? And then on the top here, you have your normal usual indicators. You have the wireless on-off switch. Uh, the power switch is here. The trackpad is here. Now, you notice that the trackpad is a bit small. Yes, it is. Then, and you notice the screen is a white screen. Oh, yes, and it's the, a white screen display. It's a white screen display and the trackpad is a square. Yeah, but I mean, they, <laughs> there's nothing they can do because it's too small and there's no way for them to squeeze the bigger yeah. trackpad there. So, you know, it's there's nothing they can do yeah, about it. So, so you know, yeah, we'll, we'll accept, accept that. Yeah, we'll accept that. Okay. Now, the keyboard. Um, no, oh. Let me start first, okay? Okay. Um, I, I'm, I'm not very fond of this keyboard layout. I'm actually surprised when I actually walk around Funan, right? When I took a look at some Dell and Sony machines, right? a lot of Sony Vios and Dells actually have this keyboard layout, which I do not understand, all right? The shift key is on the left side of the arrow key. Especially for a keyboard that's small, when you're typing, right, you're, you tend to use this finger to do the shift. And you would expect this to be the shift key, but it's not. It's on this side, all right? right? Unlike uh, some computers, the shift key is either a huge piece that extends all the way, Otherwise, you know, they'll be on this side. Yeah, but I don't like it when the shift key is here. It's really very annoying. I, I had to actually use this shift key instead because my finger usually, you know, just won't, it's very uncomfortable yeah. to reach here. If you look at a normal keyboard, the shift key should be all the way to the... Yes, uh, my so turn. All right, your turn. Okay, my turn. My uh, What I don't like about it is really the groove here, right? Yep. Over here, where it's really too close. And so whenever... Can, we can get a macro view of yeah. this thing. Yeah, you, there's a little, you know, groove Yeah, a here. little bit of groove there, and it, it flushes very nicely, or rather it flushes with the uh, keyboard, it's almost the same height, right? And one of the things that I don't like about it is whenever I press the keyboard, or, or rather the keys around this side of things, especially the space bar, it does not respond well. I, I mean, like, I didn't, I don't, I can't press low enough to, to mm. have it at least, you know, at, Register the, the the key itself. Well, so this is one of yeah. the things I don't like about it. Once my again, turn, this is a my turn. Yeah, all these my, things. Yeah, go ahead. DK. My turn for the keyboard. Okay. Yes. The width is alright, but the height is not tall enough. So if you do and you look at a normal keyboard, it's slightly taller than this. So you your hands are forced to cramp into the this little height here. Yeah, and another thing that yeah, I also not very fond of is that the, the, the these two particular keys, the, the full stop and the slash keys, they're smaller than the rest. Right. So which I, I don't know why it's kind of strange. Um, stop. the keys so actually. I, I guess small. let's let's sum up with uh, all the changes. So we want the shift key to be there. We I want this uh, groove thing mm. to actually be like the MacBook Pro or whatever, where it's a little bit further out, mm. and he wants it to be a taller, little bit taller. A little bit taller. Yeah. Now, um, once again, right? This kind of things out. You know, uh, I guess sixty five. We don't really tell you whether. This is good or bad because yeah. you, we want you to judge for yourself. You you have your own preferences. Go go down, play with it. There's a lot of them on the Sony style shops. They all have them in display. Go down, play with the keyboards, and judge for yourself. Well, whether do you like yes. the keyboard and or not? If they were to take our our suggestion, right? This no this notebook will not be so small, so thin. Yeah, true. That's right. So it's it's once again the, the weight and size. And say, say. It's, it's just uh, it's it's just amazing. Now let's talk about a little bit about the uh, the. So let's turn it on. Let's I just hit the power button. So this is running on a sixty-four giga uh, gigabytes uh, SSD. So oh, this is right. what makes it really fast. And, and it's, it's running without, Windows Seven. And it's yep. running Windows Seven and or premium. Also, or premium, just to add that. Yeah. And and it's running uh, the uh, one of the Atom's uh, CPU chip, which is the Z540, if I'm not wrong. Yes, and that's it's right. running at 1.86 uh, gigahertz. gigahertz. So it's actually faster than the normal uh, netbooks that you find on the market. And two way zero series. Yeah. And and the higher and uh, the higher more expensive model, it's uh, it's running at two gigahertz. Two gigahertz Atom. As well. yeah. Okay. And one of the interesting thing about this Atom uh, processor is that you know it supports uh, virtualization. Yeah, just not that, that, that though we're not sure how efficient you actually do the virtualization, but we just want to point out it can do it. Um, you know, it, it, the performance is actually pretty good for a machine like this. Uh, and, you're because, in yeah, and you're in Windows now, see? Yeah, and you're in Windows. Uh, because of this, the solid state drive, the 2 gigabytes of RAM and things like that, uh, unfortunately, you cannot upgrade anything because this computer is so small. A anyway, the, the only reason why there's a solid state, state drive is because you know, how on earth are you going to fit a hard drive into a machine this small? Um, 
So you know, it's it's a um, it, it's a pretty uh, in terms for compared to a netbook, right? It's a pretty powerful machine. Yeah, we we cannot deny that. And by the way, the resolution is one three six six by seven six eight. It's a brilliant resolution. I love it's it. Perfect. Yeah. I love it. The screen is really good. I'm telling you, the VIOP right with the one thousand six hundred resolution, is super super high density resolution. I cannot see a thing because the words are so tiny. Yeah, but this, this is, is the perfect is resolution. Now. I know. It's not too big. It's not too small. Uh, resolution is high enough for you to actually do more pretty cool stuff. Uh, yet, um, you know, it, it is not too high, neither is it too small. It's great, which is, uh, which is uh, what we really like. Uh, motion eye camera right over here. Um, don't ask us about the uh, camera webcam uh, quality. Webcam qualities are pretty standard, which is uh, right now, uh, by today's standard, it's actually quite good enough for you to uh, do your Skype, uh, do a little bit of webcam video. Yep. Right, just, uh, just don't not ask us about enough it. For your photo. And, uh, and while using this laptop, right, I used it for like, a day or two, a few days, right? Okay, And, and it's it's really smooth for mm. normal usage, like, you know, web browsing, email, yeah. word processing, and all of that. I, because one of the problems I felt with uh, other netbooks is it's slightly laggy and, you know, it's it's just not fast and responsive enough. I felt this one was good enough. And th this is what I'm, I was saying. Oh. Two and a half hours, two hours to two and a half hours with arrow on, with everything on, on a balanced power, uh, power setting. So what you're saying is with arrow, it actually runs quite smoothly as well. Yes, oh, exactly, okay. you see. Yeah, and that is great. For the netbook, it doesn't, right? Most netbooks. Uh, no, most netbooks won't be able to do arrow in the first place. Exactly, and this is wonderful. I love this, you know. And it's really, really smooth. It's really, really fast. And, you know... Sony Vio, I mean Sony, please just fix the groove, you know, yes. like make it further. Yeah. That, I think that's that's the least you can do. You so know? don't yeah. compare you have this, with this is the keyboard and the touchpad. Yeah. So let's put a price on this thing. This machine, uh, the Sony Vio X, is selling at one thousand nine hundred and ninety nine dollars for the one point eight six gigahertz version, exactly. sixty four gigabytes solid state drive, two gigabytes of RAM. And the higher version comes in uh, two two thousand one hundred and ninety nine dollars, and this is all in Singapore dollars. Yes. And the maximum, really, the most expensive one is two hundred. Uh, Two thousand four hundred and ninety nine dollars. Yes. So in and summary, this is all without the extended battery. In summary, right, the the Sony Vio X. Yes, it's pretty expensive, but we can because of all the how thin it is, how light it is, and how and relatively powerful. And it is. all the specs like uh, SSD drive. I mean, it's impossible to keep the price low. Yeah. I would buy this if they fix the groove. So actually, well, Justin well, will buy this. I would buy this even if they don't fix the groove. If I had the money. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> really, it's, because, a, it's amazing. Uh, because I, 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 I really want to type properly because oh, okay. I, I have a lot of problems I, with I the space bar. I didn't That's have it. issue with the space bar. I did programming on this. I wrote an entire program for nine hours on this machine and, and I didn't have issues with keyboard apart from the shift key. But that could be easy to get used to. Yeah. Um, so one thing is this, is that this machine is what the VIOP should have been. It's good yeah. enough to deserve a $2,000 price tag. Um, the small size, if you want to say a $2,000 Singapore dollar price tag, you think about it, the, the VIO Z series, the original really slim computers, sure, they had Intel uh, Core 2 processors, Core Solo processors, but they, they cost over $3,000 to $4,000 at $1,999 for the kind of uh, specs that you can get, the kind of weight that you have on this thing. It's, it's great. Yep. And don't, it's don't, be, don't be put off by the Atom netbook thing, right? It's actually running Arrow. It's very, very smooth and there is really no lag at it. Yeah, I really like it. So you know what we say that the, in terms of the Vio X, Sony did a, a good job with the Vio X, uh, um, you know, compared to the Vio P. Right, so they definitely did a good job. In fact, I really like what they did after the Vio P. They came out with the Vio W, which is a low-end and cheap machine, and the Vio X, which is good enough to deserve a high press tag. So good for you, Sony. <laughs> so that was the Sony Vio X. Um, <laughs> don't eat the review in it. Yeah, it's really, really um, all we can say is it's a it's an amazing machine. It really is. It's very impressive. Um, if you have the money, most people don't. You know, like I probably would never buy this. Uh, but if you have the money. And you're really looking for a machine that's really, really light, really, really portable. Um, this is actually a great secondary machine. With all the money in the world, it's a great secondary machine. A thousand nine hundred ninety-nine dollars for a good, relative good amount of power and um, you know, great size. So um, that was the Sony Vio. Do you guys want to add anything else on to this thing? I love it. Okay. Oh, it's good. It's good. Uh, but just it's not, not within my budget. Yeah, not Before. within the budget. Yeah, that's the thing. It's it's not within the normal person's budget. I would buy it. Yeah, you <laughs> <It's laughs> his budget. So. The keyboard is being fixed. Yes. Yeah. So that was the Sony Vio X. If you want to send us an email, gear65 at tech65.org. That's our email address. You got to check out all our previous episodes of Gear 65, 65 This, Digress Car, so on and so forth. www.tech65.org for all Singapore tech and gadget news in video and audio. So I am Daniel. I'm DK. I'm Justin. And we will be signing out. See you guys soon. Goodbye. Bye.